Good morning to everyone, and thank you for tuning in. This is Justin Mott, and now it's time for your local and area news. Top news story this morning, fireworks are prohibited in the national forests and grasslands of Texas. As the July 4th holiday weekend approaches, officials with the U.S. Forest Service reminding the public that fireworks are prohibited in the national forests and grasslands in Texas. Fireworks can potentially cause a fire, and Forest Supervisor Eddie Taylor says law enforcement personnel will be watchful again this year. In center, some summer baseball tournaments are coming up. June the 29th will be the first baseball tournament on my list. July the 6th will be the next. July the 13th will be the next baseball tournament. And the Little League World Series is coming here to Center, Texas, July the 20th through the 23rd. The Shelby County Veterans Service Office will be administering a $20,000 grant awarded by the Texas Veterans Commission Fund for Veterans Assistance. The grant funds will be to reimburse drivers who transport veterans or their family members who are qualified to use VA medical facilities. For more information, you can call 598-6530. That's 598-6530. The Shelby County Outreach Ministries program is continuing their awareness campaign to stump out hunger. They're selling t-shirts for $15 apiece. Going on this morning at the active Shelby County Courthouse, they will have a commissioner's court meeting at 9.30 a.m. And going on this week at the Fanny Brown Booth Memorial Library, today they're going to have preschool story time at 10.30 a.m. And tomorrow, they're going to have their summer reading program. The creature teacher will be visiting the library at 10.30 a.m. as well. And she'll also have a second performance at 2 p.m. She will be bringing her animals. And now moving along in your rest report this morning in Shelby County, Juanita Briggs, age 35, of Joaquin, manufacturing delivery of a controlled substance, Raymond John Fleming, age 34, of St. Augustine, forgery, three counts, engaging in organized criminal activity, fraud, theft of ID, and theft of livestock out of Clay County. In St. Augustine County, no new arrests were reported as of this morning from St. Augustine. And in your obituaries this morning, Mr. Billy Harper, Sr., age 83 of Katy, passed away recently. Funeral services will take place this Saturday, June the 30th at 2 p.m. It will be a graveside service at the Lane Town Cemetery with Reverend Timothy Teal officiating. He is survived by his wife, Georgia Mae Harper of Katy, Texas, along with one son, three daughters, 11 grandchildren, 10 great-grandchildren, and a host of other family and friends. A celebration of life service for 76-year-old Janie Louise Broadenax will be held this Saturday, June the 30th at 11 a.m. at the Shelbyville United Methodist Church. She is survived by a host of family and friends. And for more news, arrest reports, obituaries, and more, along with video news, yes, video news, check out our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go. Follow us on Facebook at Center Broadcasting Company on Facebook for updates from our area. And as always, this has been Justin Mott telling you to go out and be amazing. cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.